So this is Highway Radar. Here is how we had ours configured. Now for yours, it's going to be a little bit different at first. You won't have the Sabre plugin box checked. It'll have a big red X saying none found. I will get to that later. So to start out, you're going to go to settings. This is going to have everything. This is any Android based tablet or phone with an internet connection, whether that be like a Wi-Fi hotspot or a SIM card. You're going to start out here. You won't see fetched crowdsource alerts using Sabre plugin unless you have the plugin installed. For the host name, it's just plain simple, Waze.com. That's it. That That's what pulls all of its um, police alerts, ha road hazards, and anything like that. The Sabre plugin will advance that, make it better. So generally, when I have it, I have the plugin. You're going to want police alerts installed. Opposite direction installed, group close calls, you can if you want, I prefer it. Then you're going to go here, hazard alerts, absolutely, you want to know about potholes, animals, shoulders, you want to know all that. Alerting distance is one mile, all that and that. Next, you're going to want to go to aircraft alerts. Turn that on, that's huge. Uh, choose which aircraft is your preference. I do suspicious and unknown in the proximity. However, if you want to do just in general all unknown, you can, but you definitely don't need to. I have it that I have it set to seven just because I wanted to know for certain because we were going over 100 miles an hour a lot of the time, and we were cruising right around 115, so we couldn't really run the risk. These at the bottom are your preference. Show icons on map, definitely. Map labels, yes. Traces is useful to see if they're circling the highway or not. Zoom out is a most definite, and tail number is your preference if you want to log that and use your own ADSB antenna or anything like that. Next one down should be cameras. Cameras are completely up to you. If you're on the highway, it won't matter. Um, I have it on just for fun. You don't need it. This one's optional. Heat map will take the last 30 days of Waze reports and compile it into a risk. So when you go on, the road will turn from like gray to red. I highly recommend this because if there's not a report and it's red, there's still a good chance there might be a cop there. Just not reported. Then you go into the display settings. General stuff. You want the map. Thanks message is up to you. The biggest one for me is the tilted map view you get a much further view ahead. Welcome to part two. Hit general. Start service automatically. Um, I like it. It saves time on boot up. It's up to you. Shut down when stationary, absolutely not. That is not worth it because if you have a fuel cell in your car and you're making stops, 10 minutes is about the length of your fuel stop and you don't want to waste time between your stops. So, leave that off. Uh, PIP, picture in picture, is good if you have to tab out and touch your tablet a lot. It will always stay up and running. And if you have the Sabre plugin, which we're going to get to this time, I promise, submit it via Sabre. Do not do launch ways and don't do disable report button. Launch ways will leave the app and that will make it so you can't report stuff. Always have it on submit via Sabre. Google location services is up to you. We didn't do it. We had a stable connection, so we just did it there. Now, we're going to talk about how to get that Sabre plugin. WZ Sabre. This is arguably the best one to use for this app, build, whatever you want to call it. So what you need to do is go into Google, and you just search WZ Sabre. Scroll down a little bit, you will see the plugin. Tap it. You're going to hit download plugin. Now, when you download this, I already have it. It's going to say you might not allow trusted installers. You have to go into Google Chrome settings in your device and allow it. Once you install this, you're going to hit run. It's going to show some logo. Wait for it to finish loading. Once you once it's done, you can close out, but you have to restart the device for it to take effect. It's an APK file, so you have to restart it. 
for it to go into your device, whatever you're looking to use for highway radar. The website also has cameras. Now, once your app is restarted, you just go back into the device, then it should take a second to load, and then you will see a Saber plugin. Check, WZ Saber is installed. Make sure, go back into Crowdsource, make sure that Saber plugin is checked. It will be a lot better than pulling from Waze.com. You'll have a lot better time with it. I'm censoring it because I'm at home. Once you boot the app up, give it time to load. Your planes, your crowdsourced, and your location should all be green. That shows that they are active and you are good to go. In the bottom left, you'll see your mute button, far left, and next to that is your report button, as well as the speed limit. Hit the report button, and this is what you'll be greeted with. What you want to report, which lane it's in, if it's visible or hiding.